A healthy, educated and resilient population is a major prerequisite for every country to compete effectively in the global economy. It is in this regard that many countries, including Tanzania, have adopted a transformational health promotion approach. However, before the current changes, Tanzanian's health promotion approach was traditionally top-down, where communities were treated as passive receivers of health care. Kutokana na uchumi, ukaenda hospitali, kifika pali mapokezi, bila lukumi wezu kasajiriwa. Kabla ya huu mfumo kuwanza, tukikosa vitendanishi ya mwesti baada ya kuoda. Tulikuwa tunakutana na changamoto ya upatikana juu ya tarifa saiza vifatiba. Unakuta kifagi na tupwa, kwa sababu tu switch imekatakuwa. With Tanzania increasing investments in healthcare to ensure universal access to quality health services for all citizens, the Swiss government was prompted to support this cause through the Swiss-Tanzania Cooperation Arrangement. The HPSS is an ambitious project that was designed to support sector reforms so as to address access barriers to primary health services by poor rural populations. Moreover, and this is a key element in the current Swiss-Tanzanian cooperation program, HPSS contributes to strengthening the relevant state institutions so that they can deliver public health services more effectively, more efficiently, while being more and more transparent and fully responsive and accountable to the people's needs. This partnership resulted in the birth of the Health Promotion and System Strengthening, HPSS project, an initiative implemented by the Swiss Tropical and Public Health Institute that strives to improve the quality and utilization of health services in the country. HPSS tumefanya nao kazi kwa kipindi cha miaka 12 sasa. Na HPSS ni matokeo ya ushirikiano baina ya serikali ya Tanzania na serikali ya Swiss. Na HPSS ilivyoanza kutekeleza mradi wake wa uimilishaji wa mifumo ya afya Tanzania ulikuwa ni kwa lengo la kusaidia serikali ya Tanzania kuimarisha mifumo yake. All in all, HPSS has proven to be a most valuable component of our partnership with the Tanzanian government to reform the health sector and to increase access of and quality of health services for rural populations, leaving no one behind. The HPSS project has helped to strengthen the health system of Tanzania in such areas as health financing, medicine supplies and management, health technology management, and community participatory health promotion. Furthermore, the project has supported the government of Tanzania in digital health and research. So the approach of the project is a system strengthening approach. We're not concentrating on one individual uh, field of activity, but rather would like to or try to strengthen the whole system in its interactions. Our project from inception has aligned very much with the government priorities uh, as stipulated in the various uh, programs and uh, strategies. So with that, we do apply some inclusion approaches uh, to work with the government from the planning level to implementation level. So that has been our, our philosophy on working with the government in order to strengthen the health system in the, uh, the full working area that project has been supporting. And using various platforms uh, that created by the project but also existing in the government structure to, to have a dialogue together to identify priorities and therefore develop interventions and implementation strategies. So far, the HPSS project interventions have significantly contributed to improved health service delivery in Tanzania. La kwanza likuwa ni swala zima la usimamizi wa mifumo ambayo itasaidia katika uchangiaji wa fedha na uchangiaji wa huduma ambayo utapelekea wananchi kuweza kuwa na nafuu katika uchangiaji wa huduma. Mfuko wa afya msingi ni moja mzada ya pili 
ilikuwa ni swala zima la huduma za upatikanaji wa dawa, mifaa na vifaa tiba. E, na ya tatu ilikuwa ni swala la ukarabati na ukarabati wa vifaa na vifaa tiba kupitia e, component ambayo inaitwa health technology management. Na ya nne ilikuwa ni kufanya promotion ya masuala ya afya. Empowerment of individuals and strengthening their actions for health is a crucial element in strengthening health promotion approaches at community, regional and national levels. Health promotion uh, is a process that intends to empower individuals to take control over their health and well-being as it was informed by uh, the situation analysis which we conducted already in 2010 and in 2011. So This situation analysis has revealed that the health promotion practice then was more on a top-down approach uh, with very minimal or no community uh, empowerment, participation and engagement. Kuna umuhimu wa kupeleka huduma hii mashuleni. Kwa sababu kwa hali ya kawaida kabisa kwa tuna utamaduni wa kwenda kucheki afya mpaka tumeumwa lakini wataalamu wa afya wanapokuja mashuleni wanatusaidia kubaini hizo changamoto tulizonazo kwa mtoto anapopata huduma mapema inamsaidia pia ataweza kuhudhuria masomo yake darasani vizuri na kwa wakati na kwa maana hiyo tutainua taaluma kwa sababu hata ufaulu wake utakuwa mzuri tofauti atakapokuwa na changamoto akabaki nyumbani This initiative has been achieved at a low cost by a cascade of training and interventions in the villages through community participatory health promotion activities. Health promotion katika miaka hivi karibuni na kutokana na mabadiliko makubwa yanayotokea duniani na magonjwa mbalimbali ambayo yanajitokeza ndio njia pekee ambayo inaweza kuwafanya jamii kuwa salama kwa sababu inafikisha taarifa kwa haraka na mtu anakuwa na taarifa zote za namna kujikinga na madhara mbalimbali au magonjwa ambayo yapo kwenye ngazi ya jamii kwa mfano tulikuwa na covid tumekuwa na tishio ya magonjwa kama Ebola ndio magonjwa madogo madogo matokana kama milipuko magonjwa ya kipindipindi na nini kwa hiyo watu wanakuwa wanafahamu yale magonjwa kupitia afua hii health promotion namna ya kujikinga the cost of healthcare is a major financial burden on families Millions of people spend at least 10% of their household budgets to pay for health care, often forcing them to choose between their health and other necessities. Kutokana na uchumi, unaweza uka mtoto akaumwa ghafla, ukaenda hospitali, ukifika pale mapokezi bila 10,000 uweze kusajiliwa. Kwa hiyo pale utoe 10,000 kwanza ndio usajiliwe. Na ukiwa unaona kama huna bima, leo umeumwa baba, kesho kaumwa mtoto na hali ya kiuchumi ni ngumu sahihi so from that situation onwards we decided uh, to support the government in the development of a full fledged health insurance where people can get services all over the country and also benefit package which allows them to go to hospital services higher level services in case of need to address these ever increasing expenditures on healthcare costs Tanzania's witnessed the introduction of health insurance. The government prepared a short-term plan to ensure that citizens, especially those in the informal sector, which constitutes a large percent of the total population, are covered by the Community Health Fund. Maburisho ya mfuko wa afya ya jamii CHF yamekuja kwa malengo ya kuboresha huduma kwa mwanachama wanachama wake ni wananchi walio katika sekta isiyo rasmi wa kulima ufanya biashara ndogo ndogo kina mama ntilie eh wachimbaji wa madini wadogo wadogo wafugaji eh vikundi vidogo vidogo vya ujasiri ya mali hawa ndio walengo wa mfuko huu na hata ukiangalia kiwango kile wanachochangia unaona kabisa ni kiwango pekee ni kiwango ki kinachomuwezesha kabisa mwananchi wa kawaida aweze kufikia mfuko huu kwa sababu hawa ndio wana changamoto na wenye uhitaji wa huduma za afya the uniqueness of of this social health scheme is that it provide different possibility for people in the Tanzania to access medical care whether you have high income you are low income earner or mid income earner 
this package provide a solution for you. One important step was enrollment at the community level where people live instead of having them travel long distances away from their communities for this purpose. CHF Ilio Boreshwa has helped to make access to healthcare more equitable across the general population and reduce the burden of healthcare costs among the poor. Afeni ni mtaji na kila mwananchi ana haki ya kuwa na afya bora. Sasa moja ya njia iliyofanya ni kuhakikisha kwamba tunakuwa na mfuko wa afya jamii ambao unalenga sana wananchi ambao wapo katika sekta rasmi na kwa kufanya hivyo ni kwamba wananchi hawa wanaepukana na changamoto ya kutumia fedha za mfuko ni pindi wanapokuwa wameugua badala yake wanatumia kadi na kupata matibabu haraka na kurejea katika shughuli za uzalishaji ambazo zasaidia kaya zao pamoja na taifa kwa ujumla The Medical Stores Department MSD is the backbone of the public medicine supply in Tanzania However, MSD faces challenges in filling orders from health facilities. The supply gap of more than 40% stemming from the out of stock situation and low order fulfillment needs to be complemented by medicines from other sources. Tuko na pata changamoto kubwa sana kipindi cha nyumba. Kabla zanati haija haijafunguliwa. Sasa kwa watoto kuta usiku mtoto anachemka anaumwa itakulazimu utoke uende hospitali ya mnenia kama daktari akakuandikiwa dawa alafu anakwambia dawa hapa hamna unaandikiwa uende kanue mtaani mtaani kwenyewe wapi in partnership with committed and engaged local experts and authorities and after lengthy discussions with all involved uh, stakeholders we piloted a public private partnership model with pooled procurement from a prime vendor at regional level in the Dodoma region. We designed an innovation which is called prime vendor system and by then in 2014 uh, the design was having one vendor who supplies uh, the whole region. It's called a prime vendor system with a single vendor with pulling all orders This complementary supply chain has significantly improved the availability of health commodities at all levels of the health system Pitia mfumo huu eh unatuwezesha hata sisi kujipanga vizuri katika ku stock eh mali ili inapotokea tu MSD kuna upungufu wanaporudi kwetu basi tuna uwezo wa kujazia kwa haraka na kwa kiasi ambacho kinahitajika Jazia Prime Vendor System now covers all 26 regions and covers over 8000 health facilities. Hapo awali tulikuwa tuna ujuzi wala uzoefu wa kutoa dawa. Tulikuwa tunatoa tu dawa tu bila kufuata taratibu. Kwa mpaka sasa hivi kwamba vituo vina uwezo wa kuagiza dawa kutokana na mahitaji ya kwao na hivyo kupelekea upatikanaji wa dawa zote muhimu kituoni kwa muda wote. When we started the availability was uh, 57% after four years of implementation significant increase to 92% in health facilities there is a strong synergy in the introduction of Jazia prime vendor system kwa sasa hivi kwa kweli huduma zimekuwa zimelaisishwa unaweza kaenda za anati ukapimwa ukapewa dawa umuhimu wa patikanaji dawa kwa kweli katika jamii ni mu, yani ni jambo la muhimu sana katika vitu vyote the rapid deterioration of infrastructure and frequent equipment failures not only impairs medical services but may pose a health hazard to patients and staff at the health facilities. Hospitali nyingi zilikuwa zinatumia mafundi wa mtaani local fund katika kufanya matengenezo ya faatiba. Na challenge kubwa ambayo ilikuwa inatokea kwa hao mafundi kwa sababu hawakuwa na ujuzi wa faatiba, vifaa vingi vilikuwa vinafikia mahali vinatoa majibu ambayo sio sahihi. Na ikapelekea uh, tatizo la wagonjwa wengi kupewa ugonjwa ambao walikuwa hawana. 
HTM, or what we call it health technology management, is an important aspect of the health system uh, building block. So that's deal with the technology and also biomedical engineering field as a whole. Our project uh, decided to invest in the health technology management in order to support the government health system after the situation analysis that we conducted in 2011. Uh, that has informed us in many aspects uh, in terms of what are the gaps existing in the management of technology. So after that realization, therefore we came to devise these uh, interventions. Through its health technology management, HDM component, the health promotion and system strengthening project has developed some key innovations and anchored them into government policies for sustainable implementation. HPSCS in this intervention involve government at all level to plan and devise intervention that will help to strengthen the health technology management. Through that approach, we were able uh, to develop a system which were owned by the health system. Mfumo huu uh, umetusaidia sisi wa Tarama Fatiba kwanza kuna sehemu ya kuweka life span ya kifaa. Lakini pia mfumo unatunza rekodi ya kila kitu ambacho umekifanya kwenye kile kifaa. On the digital health, uh, HPSS has uh, played a very big role to ensure that it gives uh, support uh, financially and technical support and we've helped the government to develop a number of systems and some of these systems include insurance management information system that I miss. This is a system that supports the government to operationalize a community health fund or CHF. IMIS is a web-based system, is a centralized system. So we have a central server that is hosted by uh, the PORAG. It communicates with a mobile application. So the people at the village level, district up to regional level, they use mobile application to do the enrollment. It works in the mobile phone at the, at the same time also on the web-based. MEMIS ni mfumo wa kielektronik ambao umejengwa kwa kushirikiana na HPSS pamoja na Wizara ya Afya. MEMIS inaweza kusaidia katika hatua mbalimbali za management katika ngazi ya mtumiaji, ngazi ya utawala katika kufanya maamuzi mbalimbali ya uwekezaji katika teknolojia mbalimbali za vifaa tiba. HPSS has managed to improve primary healthcare services, especially preventive, affordability and accessibility care. The project strengthened the management of medicines and health supplies and related services from 53% in October 2011 to over 90% in July 2019 in the pilot regions. Health promotion innovations, training packages, materials, Tools and guidance documents will be scaled up nationally in all 26 regions and their 184 districts. Well, as for me, I've been here for uh, almost uh, 12 and a half years since we started until now. I have seen things are changing. We started as a pilot. It was an easy job, but we did and inform different people in a, in a decision making in the government and they are able to learn through the process together with us to do some evaluation. And now when we are talking, most of our intervention has been rolled out across the country. So that's made me very proud and I'm very happy to be part of HPSS. Regarding sustainability, it was important for the project from the beginning to work in an integrated way with the government. So we never operated a system on our own like CHF or anything else. We always support the government in their operation and management of the systems. I think that's the most important uh, thing regarding sustainability. Then, however, we make a lot of efforts now in the final phase of the project to uh, make sure that capacities are in place, that all the systems are strengthened and integrated in the routine work of the government. 
For the development of a country, the socio-economic development of a country, and especially a country like Tanzania with such a demographic um, explosion, one might say, health issues are really key and, and they should be considered as priority challenges. This is why we, Switzerland, we have included our health portfolio for a very long time and we are partnering with the government in those issues.